Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Now depending on when you're watching this video, the brand new GCSE Maths exams may very well be looming rather scarily upon the horizon. And over the years in this, GC, uh, in this Resource of the Week series, sorry, I've often featured GCSE revision resources and they always go down really, really well. But then I started thinking about the concept of intervention because that's a fundamental part of the revision process in many schools. And I thought to myself that I've, I've never actually featured a, an intervention specific resource and yet it's such an important principle when it comes to preparing kids for revision. And often, um, again, this is just my personal opinion, but I don't think intervention is all that effective in schools. Um, the way it's worked in schools that I've worked at in the past is that students are taken out of other lessons, perhaps they've already done their GCSE maths exam, or perhaps there's been kind of a tactical decision on the part of senior leadership to withdraw students from certain lessons, or um, take them out of form time or tutor time or whatever it may be to have extra math sessions. But as someone who's delivered many of those math sessions myself over the years, finding actual work for the kids to do can be rather tricky. So say for example, and this is gonna link directly to this resource, say you've got one child who you're running an intervention session for, or maybe five students who you're running a session for, and you know that they're weak on certain aspects of data, averages, interpreting statistical diagrams, and so on. Now, it's gonna take you as a teacher quite a while to, to scrabble around and get some resources for those students for that session. And also, and this is the key point, how do you know how effective your intervention's been? Well, this is where this resource comes into play. Intervention pack data interpreting results. And don't worry, this is part of a whole series of these intervention packs. And it's been created by one of Tez's finest authors, Pixie 17 So what, what does it comprise of? Well, if you do the download, there's three uh, three word docs, and I'll show you the first one here. Now, this is absolutely ideal. It's a pretest. Now, again, you can choose how you want to run this um, in your particular school, but I think it makes sense to perhaps give all of this to year 11, or perhaps to give it your year 11 class, depending on how you're running it. And it's a simple four question test that covers all the key aspects of um, kind of data analysis and interpreting results and so on. Okay, so you give that to your students. Now, based upon how they perform on that, you may then decide to select a small group of them for intervention. And then when they turn up for their intervention lesson, lo and behold, what's this? Only an intervention booklet, which the students can fill out with their name, all their key logins and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's just stacks and stacks and stacks of questions that the kids can work through. Now maybe they can, and look at that, even some notes on it as well. Now maybe they can do this in the intervention session or better still start it in the intervention session and then take it home and finish it off for homework. And by the time they've done all these, they'll be in a much stronger position to hopefully understand the topic. But how do you know how well they've done? Well, that's where the post-test comes into play because now let's test how much progress they've made. It's a similar test, but the numbers have changed and we can compare how they did in the pre-test to the post-test and whether they still need more help on it. Such a simple model, right? But so effective and the fact that all the questions are there prepared for you. Um, you know by now that in these Resource of the Week videos, I always like to try and add my own little kind of value added bit. And it's quite difficult for this, but one thing I would be tempted to do would be to create a third version of this test. And I know through my work on diagnostic questions and because I'm a bit of a geek and I do all my reading around it and all that kind of stuff, that the optimal time to retest um, a student isn't necessarily straight after they've learned something because you don't know how much of their performance and progress is due to memory and mimicry versus real understanding. On average, it's about three weeks after they finish learning something. So why not give them the post-test immediately after? That's fine, I've no problem with that at all. But then give them another three weeks later. Or if you can't be bothered uh, creating another one, delay this post-intervention um, assessment until three weeks later. That would be just kind of my take on it. But look, what a wonderful resource just to make the whole process of intervention just that little bit smoother and stuff. And as I say, there are loads and loads and loads of these intervention booklets on there. Just, just search using Tez, Intervention Pack, Pixie 17, and you'll find them. Anyway, hope that was useful. Hope revision is going okay. And I'll see you for a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.